bottom line, he was a storyteller that always worried about money. Um, but he, he, I don't know how many people actually ran studios that were in fact filmmakers themselves. You know, they were businessmen. I mean, you know, the the, the Jack Warners and the uh, uh, and the you know the, all the guys at MGM and whatnot. At the end of the day, they're producers. They're not filmmakers. Walt had, I call him Walt because he said everybody called each, everybody called each other by the first name. Um, Walt. Uh, knew the filmmaking process, and uh, that's the way he built the entire empire, as opposed to deals and, and, and salaries and stuff like that. He dealt with that later on. And I think that's why everybody felt as though that they were valued. You know, they didn't like each other. I mean, right up to the end, they did not like each other. And I think that the screenplay actually does a good job of capturing the essence of that without uh, making it. And then they all lived happily ever after. She was a, she was a tough, uh, mysterious um, lady who had that very checkered past. It's about the making of Mary Poppins, is what you say. It's not about the filming of Mary Poppins. It's about the translating of Mary Poppins from the book to the screen. It's about, it's about that, 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 that volatile creative process of how it ended up on paper first so that it became the movie what it, what it was. And I think it's actually a new take on, on, on that, uh, that sort of story of um, how do you, you know, what was, what's, the, what's the secrets behind this great movie that everybody loves? Well, it's a checkered pass. And it's not just about, you know, somebody broke their foot while they were shooting. It's about somebody broke the spirit of the people in the room when they were writing it, and that was Pamela Travers. Emma is like, she's like one, one of these no-maintenance artists, you know. Every time I've seen her, just, I always think, how did she do that? How did she make it look so easy? How did she just, how did she just roll it off there? Um, and uh, the work that we did, there was always something going on between there was always a secret that Pamela had that Disney himself did not see until uh, literally at the end. There, there's moments of, uh, there's a scene where, where I'm just trying to, I, Walt Disney is saying, will you please share with me why this is not a good experience for you? It's confounding. I, and uh, the emotion that, that, that Emma had was doing, I mean, it, it was a moment, of, there was a woman that was about to break into tears uh, in, over something that she could not, communicate, she wasn't going to communicate to this, this guy who at the end of the day she thought was not going to care about it. And that's just, that's just the quality of a, you know, an actress who is, a, who is forever, it seems, at the absolute top of her game. You can't do an imitation of Walt Disney. You know, I'm not going to do bald pates and stuff like that in order to get there. But there is a cadence to way he, the way he sounds um, that uh, that comes from, I think, his enthusiasm for what is in his head. His, idea, his head was so full of magnificent ideas that he could not help make everybody else excited about what those, what those ideas was. At the end of the day, you know, P.L. Travers was this kind of delightfully malevolent character, you know. She was uh, uh, benign in her, in her, she was loaded with vitriol, but it was a benign brand of vitriol. At the end of the day, she's talking about Mary Poppins, for crying out loud. And I understand the possessory uh, uh, passion one has in order to keep control of, you know, a, a creation that you did. But no, she's, she's a nut. She's a kook. She's the nutty lady who lives down the street who, even though she's mad at you, will probably say things that you'll remember for the rest of your life because they're, 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 they're so dang funny. I mean, at the end of the day, we're capturing the making of Mary Poppins, and it is a joyful, funny, um, emotional romp. But at the same time, one that uh, that I think everybody it's it ends up being uh, has a degree of sophistication to it because everybody is just so everybody is just so convinced <laughs> about their uh, about their own passions, and uh, um, she's the source of that. P. L. Travers is is the complete source of that uh, that passion. I think everybody loved, loves to enjoy somebody fighting a battle um, uh, that is important only to them. You know, the world's not going to change, uh, but it will for the audience who finally gets to go in and see Barry Poppins.